And meanwhile, this latest series of deadly mass shootings has lawmakers once again talking about gun reform. Two senators believe that there is a way to get significant legislation passed in the Senate. Kelly Meyer shows us the push for a compromise and what the president is now saying about gun reform. There's some substantive support. Pennsylvania Republican Senator Pat Toomey believes his bill to expand background checks on commercial gun sales is something senators on both sides of the aisle can get behind. The place where there's some common ground. On NBC Meet the Press, Toomey said two recently passed House bills go too far. They expand background checks to almost every private gun sale and give the FBI more time to complete them. The bill that passed the House that doesn't even have 50 votes in the Senate. Toomey has supported expanded background check legislation for nearly a decade here on Capitol Hill, but each effort has proved unsuccessful. Senator Chris Murphy of Connecticut is leading Democratic efforts to get a gun bill through the Senate. I think the politics have shifted dramatically since 2013, even since 2016, the last time that we had a vote on background checks. Murphy says one reason is disarray at the pro-gun National Rifle Association. I've gotten a lot of calls from Republicans in the Senate uh, who don't want to fight this fight any longer because the NRA's authority is fading. Mm -hmm. This time is going to be different. And Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer is not interested in compromise, at least not yet. He's promising the Senate will take up the tougher House bills and may even consider restrictions on so-called assault weapons. But President Biden told reporters Sunday he's willing to do what it takes to get Republicans on board. Everybody keeps wondering whether I'm cared about dealing with rational gun control. The only gun control legislation ever passed is mine. It's going to happen again. Reporting in Washington, I'm Kelly Meyer.